World of Tank Blitz is composed of four different classes. The first one are light tanks, known for their mobility. The second one, the mediums, known for their versatility. The third one, the heavy tanks, known for their armor. To finish off with the tank destroyers, known for their firepower. But if it was that easy, everyone would know how to play. No, the reality is that within those categories, we have other categories of different tanks with different playstyles. And today we are going to focus on the lightly armored heavies that will make you feel like you're playing a medium rather than an actual heavy tank. In order for me to teach you how to play those tanks, we are going to take a look at a gameplay I did yesterday with the i Basically, the i is a tank a lot of people are struggling with simply because it's the tier 9 that leads to the first tier 10 everyone is going to tell you to get. The IS-7 is basically the newbie tank. But to get there, you will have to pass that terrible, terrible mistake that the IS-8 is. I'm saying mistake, but it's not necessarily a mistake. It's more something really hard to comprehend. But hey, let's focus. What do we know about the IS-8? It has a great, great mobility, a great gun, and no armor, as you can see with this WT straight penetrating me in the turret cheeks. In this kind of situations, you need to analyze what's best for your tank. You know that you can't sustain shots, which means that you can't take a position from which you are the main target for your opponents. And this is why we are currently sitting at this position, because from there, even if we got quite unlucky with that WZ penetrating us two times in a row, we are not the main focus. There is only one guy that is focusing us, whereas the others are focusing on the K91 that is sitting to my left. This is the first thing. The second thing this game learns us is that we would rather use the mobility and the gun than anything else on our tank. And it's something, a principle, that we could apply to pretty much every single tank of your garage. I'm going to tell you all the time, use your tank through the characteristics that are making it strong. Do not try to bend it to your will and to the playstyle you want to adopt. It's like a natural playstyle that needs to flood you when you are playing with this one. Unlike an E75 with which I would probably have taken the position of the K91, when you are using an IS-8, you need to be extremely careful. You know that, yes, you have 9.9 .9 seconds of reload for 420 alpha damage. This is definitely one of the greatest DPMs ever, but at the same time, you have only that, plus your mobility. So just be patient. And this is what I want you to learn through this playstyle and through this game we are seeing here. We are being patient. We are not trying anything stupid. We are taking shots when we need to take shots. And that's it. What did we do? We stayed at the beginning to the right position in order for us to sneak some shells. And once we were done with that, we used our mobility to finish off targets. And while doing that, we made sure all the time that we were not alone. Because this is definitely not the kind of tank that will sustain by itself, except maybe if you are in a one versus one situation. So here, for the gameplay, we can divide it in three steps. The first is finding an aggressive position, but from which you are not the main target of your opponents. The second one is using your mobility to get to a quick position to make things move to be the motivator for your team. Like, you're not necessarily the guy they are going to focus, but you are the guy that will make things move. This is the second thing. And finally, you finish off the pieces when you have the chance to do it while trying to remain untouched by your opponents. Except, obviously, if you are one of the last ones with your full hit points and you are just surrounded by allies that are one shot. Now, we gotta talk about the second playstyle you can adopt with those tanks. Here for that, we're playing with the T95E6, a heavy tier 10 tank that is definitely not known for its armor, more for his mobility plus its great gun. So what do you want to do? It's actually quite simple and it's probably the best playstyle ever with those kind of tanks. Play it like a media. Why? You have a huge advantage on the regular mediums when you're heavy. The pull bar, because you have better, better hit points in general, more hit points, and a better armor. 
Of course, on the gun, you can't face them. But if they are stuck and they know that they can't outrun you, you get into the perfect situation. Let me explain briefly what I mean by that. If I was here alone, yes, I will have the advantage of the armor as long as they are not trying to push me. But if I'm going there and trying to bait them and getting my shots, it's because I know that right there I have some support. I have the mediums that are ready at any given moment to come across here if they push me to sneak their shell. Therefore, unconsciously, it's going to force them not to push me. And this is where my advantage is, because they're going to sit in front of me without being able to do nothing because of my armor. And I'm just going to be able to farm them relatively easily. Just take a look at that. The T95U1 is trying. Our armor allows us to bounce him. We also bounce the WZ1 to 1. And now, within maybe 20, 30 seconds, we totally broke their defense line, their medium defense line. And obviously, this is, this is the kind of things that will lead you to the victory, because if all of a sudden they are disorganized and trying to run, you have the possibility of sneaking some shells and therefore destroying mediums before they have time to relocate. And obviously, when you start the game with three kills for you and zero for your opponents, you know that you are going to get closer and closer to what we could call a tactic victory. And this is exactly what happened during this playstyle. We totally destroyed them. They had to run away. You see the TVP trying as hard as he can to go. I don't even know where he's going. And it worked perfectly because we played it as a medium. We played it as a heavy supporting the medium, therefore a medium itself, and destroying everything on our way. But it requires something from you. It requires that you take advantage of your armor which means that you need to have armor. This is something, for example, that you could have done with the ice safe, but that would have been not necessarily perfectly... Perfect, perfectly... Wow, I struggle talking, guys. Perfectly executed. Sorry, I slept four hours and it's quite hard for me. But if you take the right tanks, you should not struggle. But you will struggle because every single one of those specific tanks have its own specific playstyle that you need to learn through games again and again or through videos. Because if both the T195E6 and the i 8 are sharing the exact same problems compared to the rest of the heavy class, the way you are going to solve each one of them problems is not going to be the same. And this is a profound injustice, but you're going to have to deal with it because that's what makes this game interesting. The fact that some tanks are hidden gems when you know how to play them and total nightmare when you're new to them. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed, you learned something and most specifically, will this video make you good? Tell me in the comments or at least better. And hopefully I'm going to see you soon for a new video waiting for another tactic, which I don't know yet what it's going to be on. Like... I don't know, but I like those tactic videos, so I'm going to try to dive a little bit deeper into it to make you better players, hopefully, if my explanations are clear. See ya.